Okay, here there is another problem. Find the oblique asymptote. So we will take a look of this one. <clears throat> Did you see it clearly? I will copy this problem so that we can find we can find a solution. We can work out the solution. this x square plus 8 x uh, uh, x cube plus 8 x square plus 11 x minus 20 divided by x square plus 3 x plus 2 <coughs> when the denominator and numerator in the function there is a fraction and the denominator and numerator is the same degree degree 5 x to the power of 4 and the bottom x to the power of 4 or whichever when it is the same degree the answer is a constant it's a constant number and it is a vertical it it will be f x equal to one or two y equal to one or two or three and then it will be a hurry it will be a horizontal uh, asymptote <clears throat> when the degree is not the same and the <clears throat> numerator and denominator is not the same degree and the numerator is one degree higher than the denominator the result will be an oblique line and the degree and the, 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 the and, and the slope will be decided by the constant number a or B here. Okay, I will not write too many things. Anyway, we will work out this problem first. This we need to do a long division. When we do long division of, uh, <coughs> of polynomial, make sure each degree have a place. It's same as, um, as uh, we do long division for real number. You have ones, uh, tens, hundreds, thousands, and here you need to have zero degree, one degree, two degree, three degree, four, five. It cannot be zero degree and second degree jump without leaving the room for each individual degree. Okay, this, this problem has all the degrees in it. We will do an exercise missing one degree. Okay, now we do this problem <clears throat> divided by x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, we do it one at a time. We put x here because x times x squared is x cubed so that we can we can diminish we can uh, subtract this one first <clears throat> x times x square is x cube x times 3x is positive 3x square x times 2 is positive 2x right and we need to subtract x subtracted subtract uh, x cube subtract x cube become zero you can write down the zero or not to write but this one must be zero you have to find a way to make it zero we will do another problem later on <clears throat> okay and this one is 5x square and this one is 9x minus 20 and this one it goes down right today i did exercise with my students and she always write this one down it's so cute okay <clears throat> 
plus 5. 5 times x squared is 5x squared plus 15x plus 10. So this one will be negative 6x. And this one is already not in our consideration because this degree is lower than this. So we got the result is equal to x plus 5. And the rest is remainder. x plus 3, x plus 2, jing, 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 a certain number. It will be remainder. And remainder we do not need to consider because those remainders, if this is 1 or 2, it is still a real number. But we are talking about a symptom. We are talking about a tendency. We are talking about a big number. And this number is so big, it's not even hundreds, thousands, millions, gazillion. It's not even Google, Google Plus. It's infinity. Okay? We are imagining this number is so huge. Okay? So, <clears throat> in this way, we get F, X, equal x plus 5 ding, 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 ding. and these will be the oblique asymptote which means if y equal to x is this right this is y equal to x y equal to x but there <clears throat> there are five so you need to move up five points. So the red line will be the red line y equal x plus 5 will be the asymptote, oblique asymptote. So we put this problem into our decimal and see if we are doing it right. Okay. I need to I need to prove it. Okay, so the problem is you can see can you see it? X X to the power of three plus eight X square plus 11 x minus 20 divided by x square plus 3 x plus plus 2. Okay, so this is the question we are seeing. Now we see the asymptote. Now we cannot see clearly because the, 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 the scale is not there. We need to zoom out, zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, 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 out. Did you find it's a line? So this is that line. And we need to see where this line starts. It does not start from... It does not start from the, the origin. Now I will add up another line y equal x plus 5 see the blue line x plus 5 this is the line that the 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 the, um, the graph is inclined to be going closer 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 
that's the line. Is there an end of it? There should not be an end of it. Uh oh, the red line disappeared because it's too small. So we see only the asymptote. Okay. Do I make sense? <laughs>